Okay, because he did wrong. Excuse me, if that was your daughter, you want somebody to stab your daughter right in front of a cop? No. No, answer the question. Would you want somebody to stab your daughter in front of anybody? This is not about that. This is about... You need... Cause they're out then! No, I mean, Major, don't throw nothing at me. It's Chill out. No, because you really... No, because you're wrong. You don't... You don't understand. You need to understand. You need to understand. You need to understand. You need a black female with over another black female with... About to stab another woman. Y'all are tweaking. You do not have to be disrespectful with your... I, I wasn't even being disrespectful. Because you're being disrespectful to me right now. Man, you don't have to be disrespectful. Guys, we're nearing the end of this webcam USB era. Just stay a little bit more patient with me. But, guys, I'm not going to take too much time on this one. You know, this teacher was 100% out of line. You know, I don't know why. This isn't the first video I've seen of teachers engaging st with students um, on debates regarding social justice issues in America. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're getting paid to teach science, biology, chemistry. Just teach my kid about mitochondria and how to look elements up on the periodic table, okay? I don't want you in there talking to my kid about all this social justice stuff. And if you do want to talk about those type of things, why not you just wait after why don't you just wait after class or wait after school if you're gonna have those type of conversations? Because in a professional setting, talking about social justice issues and personal political beliefs isn't really appropriate or considered professional behavior. I would never unless I had good rapport with my team engage in political conversations unless i just had that kind of relationship that work relationship with a few co-workers maybe we'll talk about it amongst ourselves but i don't think it's appropriate in a professional setting to start talking about social justice issues start talking about political beliefs and things like that and then this teacher not only had the audacity to engage, I mean, this kid had to be at least 15, 16. She not only had the audacity to engage this kid, but then she picks up some kind of object and throws the object at the student. The teacher throws some object at the student just because the student didn't agree with what the teacher was saying. Now, of course, I 100% agree with what the teacher was saying about Makai Bryant. I think Makai Bryant was 100% in the wrong and the police officer who shot Makai Bryant was 100% in the right. But like I said, guys, there's a place and a time for everything. And even if somebody I was engaging in a debate with didn't agree with what I was saying, I would never pick up an object and throw it at them. I feel like somewhere down the line, they... That teacher should definitely be charged for that. But at the very least, she was fired. Uh-oh. At the very least, she was fired. Guys, I mean, these teachers, man, and just not, not only teachers, but anybody who works in a professional setting, if you want to have those type of conversations, social justice, politics, save that stuff for after class. With a small group of students that you have a good rapport with or, or, or after school when you got time to talk about it. And you're amongst like-minded people who also want to talk about those things. But in a professional st setting, especially during normal business hours where you're supposed to be teaching the class about animals or zoology or whatever. That was definitely inappropriate. Definitely inappropriate. And if you can't find any time to talk about these things at work, like me, start a YouTube channel and engage with people online about politics and social justice issues and current issues. If you really are that passionate about it and you just got to talk about it. That's the reason I started this channel, because it's kind of an outlet for me to just talk about some of these things that I enjoy looking up every single day politics social justice issues law enforcement in the country these are things that i enjoy researching about learning about keeping remaining current on that's why 
I have a YouTube channel. And if I was in a public setting where I was around like-minded people, I would talk about it with them. But never would you see me at my day job just chopping it up unless the conversation or the debate was mutually comfortable for everyone involved. And even in situations where I've talked about politics and social justice issues, sometimes the conversation can get a little heated. Sometimes you got to know when to stop, when to call it quits, when to say, all right, you know, we'll talk about it another time or we'll just stop talking about it, period. And then the teachers, apparently, according to the description of the video, the other teachers in the hallway went into the classroom where the student and the other teacher was debating about Micaiah Bryant and they pretty much blamed the student off rip said he was being disrespectful to the teacher you know what I'm saying I 100% stand with the student man I don't agree with his political views but then also I realized that he's young and who knows maybe in a few years he might get exposed to conservatism he might change his views but definitely I'm not going to engage with a 15 16 year old and then Get mad when the 15, 16 year old says something that I don't agree with and throw something at him. That teacher should never get a job teaching again. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section box below. I could be wrong about this, guys, but I don't think I am. Like this video, share this video, and subscribe to my channel for more content.